You walk into a store like a 7-Eleven to get it. <coughs> so again, <coughs> must be my ideal of saving time here, but... I drop enough water. <laughs> oh, shit. We don't want to smoke that much live resin at once. Trust me. <coughs> <coughs> it's not only evil. It's mean to you. Because halfway through your day, you'll fall asleep. I promise you. I fucking promise you on the tattoos on my eye. <coughs> Did they stand for somebody dead each? Somebody I love dearly. That's my favorite. Figure Vapes Pineapple Express. <coughs> now, I teach you how to roll like a pre roll because this is what they do in your <coughs> local weed shop. Hold on. I think I'm okay. <coughs> I'm waiting for Buddy to shoot me a name so I can put him up on fucking a respectometer with me. I always do a respect shot. <coughs> <coughs> you know me, I, I, if somebody dies, there's an RAP coming from me. Especially if it's something to do with an overdose. I don't care how close or how old it is either. <coughs> <coughs> yes, I do a one year look up on how how people are, are manging towards it. I mean look look at my one fucking uh what's his what's his dog name? Whistle fizzle my worm. Worm <coughs> I just did the one year. No. Are you going out there? No. Go. Go, go. <coughs> go, girl. That's why you're a boy. Calling her to go, girl. She's a boy. What is it, 5 p.m. 7.30 in the morning? All right, let's go for some Xanax and bubbly. I got some dire champagne headache from last night with the wifey. Yes, she's on fuck you guys. And uh, no, she doesn't want to come online after fucking buddy. She looks like a cam girl. You're an idiot. You know she's my fucking editor. <laughs> like, fuck, man. You gotta be the worst with women in your life. Have you ever had a girlfriend, Jake the Snake? Or is it just you, Jake and the Snake? No wonder you got the name, buddy. And that ain't a joke. From Joker. Let's get this bubbly pop. And yes, we drink in the martini today. Why does it do that, guys? <laughs> Ugh. 
Don't you love life? I know. To answer your boy, Leo, I'm not monetized. This is actually all just me. <sighs> Welcome to Canada, a place you can grow. My license plate says it. Check the Ontario license plates. The new issue. Just welcome to Ontario. Place you can grow. <coughs> Again, a bong like no other. The shatterproof. Number three. But if you ask me as number one shatter, you know why? Eight ball cush shatter. Uh, we're gonna try a dab of everything before I say again in this video because I had so many on. I mean, I'm gonna go time after time. Why? Because I got nothing better to do. I gotta go out and raise my kid, and then go to work. Of course I'm getting baked for the first four hours of the day. You guys don't understand how hard it is to create content, raise kids, get sober, and only start smoking weed and taking fucking your medication. Maybe having a drink here and there. That is insane. Okay, this shatter's actually very thick. It's thicker than most grams, which is beautiful because now I can probably put three pieces on instead of one when I break it up, which makes it burn better if you're putting it in a bowl, which my stupid ass doesn't care about the waste, so yes, it's going in underneath my weed, so it melts right into it, and then becomes moon rocks. Everybody knows what moon rocks are, right? Piece of hashish. Crumble that up all over the top. Oops. Crumble that up over the top. Pick up that piece that went flying on the drop. <laughs> oh, we gonna smoke it up like it was someone else's crap. Now let's go. Dad's light is lighting. Today's a good day. Mike. Holiest of holy gods. Dear Lord, thank you for the weed that numbs my pain. Thank you for the food that nourishes my body, the family that nourishes my soul, the life that nourishes my, my life and makes me more of a person every day. Thank you for letting me get as sober as I did. Rest in peace to Jason Gibby's boy. And always let him live, let him fly high because I ain't got his name yet. But if I do, I'll definitely shout him out on a personal video. <coughs> shout out to everyone that's ever had fucking problems with addiction. Shout out to everyone who's ever had an issue with life. Shout out on everyone. Personally, shout out on the fucking Versace, Versace company for weed because they're the best in the market. And I can't even pronounce it. And shout out to Miss Jones for being the Apple Store of weed. Shout out to Leo Galkin for being a motherfucking stoner. Shout out to everybody else that's subbed. Being loyal in the full, because, you know, we only accept loyal motherfuckers in this full. We don't want anybody that ain't. And I see it. I watch the analytics, so I know who's loyal and I know who isn't. It's awesome. Pop bottles to him. 
Pop bottles to you. Pop bottles to the rest of you. Fucking 15 people. And, and we got two new ones. We don't even know. We're gonna see how they go. And one I think's already gonna be a fucking dog, man. He's great. Me and him got into a little argument this morning. Anybody who can get along with me after an argument is fucking awesome to me. Fucking dog, I'll hold you down to the die, trust me. Canada rocks behind you, trust me. Sorry, I can't show you. Doesn't matter if it's Don Perignon, I can't show you. I can only show you weed brands because only Ontario has them. No Canada. And if they want to be as fucking fickle as they want, they can. And I might end up having to pay fucking dues to them if I ever get monetized. So, you see why monetization is not my goal. My goal is to stop opiate addicts. My goal is to stop children from going off to fucking live with fucking crackheads who are only doing it for a $7,000 check. To smoke while they beat their children that are there. I was in foster care. I went through everything bad to know. I went to jail to know. I did everything wrong to know how to live life right. And you guys got to do it too. You can have anything you want if you so fucking try. Seriously. Yellow Wolf was right. I got teeth, man. My teeth fell out in a fucking accident. I got addicted to dope. Like, I got replacement teeth. You can get anything you want these days. The only problem is that talking with them is worse than now because it was <laughs> before I could afford them, it was a lot. Like, work was shitty pay back then. And nothing was free. Oh, we got another new one. So we were smoking Magic Melon, then Banana Days, and now we're smoking a Back 40 Sweet Apple. Now I've only ever seen the Sour Apple. I don't know where, I, where a Sweet Apple came from, but I got it. <laughs> and I'm gonna smoke it. I'm gonna vape it. Actually, I'm gonna try it right now. I have not tried this one yet. And that's fucking weird. I've been smoking all these distillates and fucking everything else. I haven't tried it yet. Somebody should have slapped me a week ago. So, everybody with a thousand dollars in their wallet put their hands up. Five hundred. A hundred. A dollar. Doesn't matter what you got. You know what it matters? The weight you put towards it. How much force you're willing to take before you fucking complete your goal. What is your mission when you grow up this time? That's what's up. What are you going to be when you grow up this time, guys? A hash hit? A joker villain? Cash villain? Fucking <coughs> a game Molly head. What are you gonna be? Shout out Jelly Roll, shout out Struggle Guns. Straight up. We're keeping it live. <coughs> shout out fucking everybody. You know who I saw the other day? And I didn't think. I'd ever watch their channel. Milk, milk 714. Now, be, me being 
Canadian affiliated. I didn't think that I'd see Milk Sub or what a fucking TV thing like or fucking YouTube. I never cared. I didn't know who he was. <coughs> Literally, I thought he was just another punk talking shit, but that's okay. I, you know, I like this Mighty Mouse thing, and I always hated Piho because of being fake. So, fuck, I like Mo. But seeing him, <laughs> but he was talking shit about C5 or C Mac or whatever the fuck they called him. They called him a bunch of names that so you wouldn't even think somebody. Yeah, that little peon would be talking about somebody that big. That kid's got balls, so shout out to Milk for doing it. If he's got big balls that big, fuck, he can go anywhere. And that's another lesson in Joker's Wild Cards here that you didn't learn at the start. Why I shouted out Buddy's friend? <coughs> <coughs> Why I tested everything for him and put it in the air like a soul? I had a drink for him. And that wasn't for me. That was straight up for the dead boy. And trust me, I'll be pouring some out. But for milk to have balls like that. Man, even Buddy had balls to tell me straight up that I was wrong. And I thought that was fucking priceless, and I thank you. You got my respect by doing that more than anything. You got respect. You got loyalty. You got friendship, because honestly, I would have said the same thing, because my best friend died in my arms when I was about... <coughs> 18. October 30th, Devil's Night. It was around uh, the first introduction in 2011 of fentanyl into Canadian heroin. And, uh, yeah, he got a full load of it. Real bad load. And he thought it was cocaine. He died. So... Much respect to our best friends that passed. You know who I'm talking about, bro. You know who this is for. I wish I could just give you some. I'll drink it for you. Who it won't make a mess. Oh well. <sighs> I'm not pouring any more out on the floor. This is this shit's sticky. <laughs> but each one got a shot pour out. But I have to pour it in the trash can because of fucking the messiness, <laughs> the stickiness. <clears throat> there you go. On that note, throw that there. Oh, there's a there's a nice looking boy the whole time. Oh yeah, the Xanax. Just so you know, I'm not lying. I am prescribed these. So fuck off! People who think I'm a drug addict. I'm just a fucking drunk. And if I wasn't a drunk, I'd be a Pothead. Years upon years I was a pothead. 
Then my dad died after everybody else dying and I lost my mind. And I made this YouTube channel. From beginning to end. It ain't quite over yet. Will be soon. It will be one day. When I stop. I stop feeling like it. Pills, 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 pills. Fuck out of here with pills. It's a perfect night. Alright, let's smoke some God, bud. Good old fashioned flower. Oh, yeah. On Hashat's channel, you're smoking flower with Joker. And normal. Even though it's gonna get laced up with honey oil when I pack it, because you know I'm packing it with a honey oil syringe. And this stuff's black. It kind of looks like hash, so I'll put it at the top. I bet you it is. Oh, live resin cartridges. Sessions. They're live resin. They're like what's in this but in a cartridge you can put on your vape and forget about mine I have to my cartridge I have to uh, clean it out every morning after it gets cold that one you gotta fuck with for fucking mine I gotta fuck with for days this one you had that one with banana berry punch and Yes, it was purple punch, but it was banana berry split. It was a twofer. So it was the smoothest vape I've ever smoked. And overtoking that motherfucker was the worst. That's why I still have it, because there's still... There's still a point left in that. I plan to hit that on, my, on that day when my daughter does something like walks. Peace out.